you know, I've had a bit of a scare health-wise and that kicked me into doing something about it. But I kind of thought, well, it's now or never. And with everything that's gone on, I just thought, well, this is the one thing I can control in my life. Hello, Pavlenka, and welcome to your Second Nature member story. I'm so glad to have you here with us today and to hear all about your journey and your experience with Second Nature so far. So to get us started, I would really love to find out a little bit about you, your background and what brought you to Second Nature. Well, I'm 67 years young. I am married. I've been married for 43 years to my lovely chef hubby, Stephen. Uh, thereby hangs a tail with food. Um, I've got a 38-year-old son and two very boisterous grandsons. I'm retired now, but I used to be a college lecturer and um, I also work for a charity looking after youngsters with mental health issues. I've had quite a lot of bouts of depression myself. And then prior to working as a lecturer, I had 25 years in the hospitality industry. So lots of you know, busy shifts, um, lots of walking around. And as a consequence of all of that, I've suffered from osteoarthritis since I was sort of 48. Um, so I've had, uh, my son calls me bionic woman, my grandson calls me cyborg granny. I've had both my hips replaced, both my shoulders. I had a knee replaced in April and I've got another one due next year. I love reading, going to theatre, cinema, and I actually eat out a lot as well. So, you know, losing weight can be a challenge. I, mean, I live in Ipswich in Suffolk. We moved here seven years ago and uh, we've, we've had a very stressful year. I mean, I don't want to to put too much emphasis on it but you know it has been a difficult year and possibly not the right time to start a weight loss program but I kind of thought well it's now or never and um, off I went. It's wonderful to find out a little bit more about you you've got an amazing background and it sounds like you've been through a lot as well and I suppose it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that you know going through a difficult time and though saying it's now or never what kind of sparks that, that interest? Like, what led you to beginning your second nature journey? So the main reason for wanting to lose weight now at this age is, is for health reasons, purely and simply for health. Um, and I decided when I started looking into the Second Nature programme more, it really resonated with me from my, my hospital bed. Um, and in the past, I'd have probably used that situation as an excuse not to do anything at all. But... With everything that's gone on, I just thought, well, this is the one thing I can control in my life. I can't control the fact that, yes, I do need to wheel use a wheelchair occasionally. Yes, I had to be on a lot of medication. And so for the main reasons were, for, for health reasons, um, I need to get my BMI down to 35. And thanks to the programme, I've got it down to 37 already. So I've only got another two points to go, which is actually another stone and a half, two stone. But, um, you know, I feel that I, I can do that. And so, you know, I've had a bit of a scare health-wise and that kicked me into doing something about it. Absolutely. It's really, really admirable that you took that control back because it can be really difficult when we're going through... It's not, not one difficult thing, but so many difficult factors in our lives that, you know, it can, can often be easier to go, oh, do you know what, it's fine, I'll leave it for another day. But to then take back that control and to start a new program, I, I'd love to know about, you know, your experience when you first started it. Did you, did you go into it thinking that it was just going to be a weight loss program or did you have any other perception of it? I've tried all the diets under the sun, you know, I mean, I started when I was 14. Unlike a lot of people, I was a fat child, a fat toddler, a fat teenager. I've tried everything known to man. And every time if I've gone through about depression or I've got stressed about something, I've just lapsed. And for this particular, um, you know, program, it just felt right on so many, so many levels. Um, I'd been a typical yo-yo dieter before and I'd always felt deprived. I even went on one of the well-known meal replacement things, lost three stone in three months. And because I'd always been big, I, I couldn't actually identify with a slimmer person looking at me in the mirror. I just thought, who is this person? It, it messed up with my head. And I just woke up one morning eating a horrible synthetic bar, thinking I just want an apple or a, a, a bowl of fruit, which you weren't allowed. And I think the whole thing about second nature is that you don't feel deprived and you don't feel hungry. Once I started reading those pre-program articles, the kickstart ones, 
it was as if they were being written for me. So this was from my hospital bed. And, and another thing as well that got me into this way of thinking, when I was doing the ladder exercise the other day, I just thought, when I was in ICU, I lost £11 in 10 days because I couldn't eat anything. As soon as I came home, guess what? It all went back on again within a week. And I thought, this is just the story of my life. I'm, a, I'm an archetypal yo-yo dieter. I've got to do something about it. Because the, the, the trouble with other diets, like if you go to one of the, the main ones where you stand on the scales every week, you stand in a row and you're asked, have you lost weight this week? No. Well, what have you done wrong? Not, well, maybe you're on your period or maybe you've just plateaued. or And then you already feel like you're failing. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's not getting to the root cause. It's a bit like sticking a plaster on the wound rather than working out why the wound's there in the first place. Yeah, and I can imagine that going through that from such, did you say 14 when you, uh, you started your first diet? Yeah, yeah, and those days, many, many years ago, probably way, way before your granny's time, maybe, I don't know, they had these things called AIDS, and they were AYDS, and they were in a box, and they were like fudge squares, and they were they were supposed to repress your appetite. Well, guess what? I'd be doing this, munching on those, and then eating what I would normally eat. Um, I felt absolutely starved on a meal replacement, you know, 800 calories a day. I've tried intermittent fasting. I've tried the grapefruit diet, the cabbage soup diet. You mention it, I've tried them all. So for this to work to me is quite a revelation. Um, and I think it's because you've worked everything out so well. But at the end of the day, you know, it's. I think I've, I've managed to keep a more positive mindset. Oh, I so I think it can be really hard sometimes when we've gone from yo-yo dieting for so many years and especially if you've tried all these different diets and they've not worked and you've put yourself through this restrict cycle that, you know, your body is it is going to come out of it and it's just going to eat nourishing, wholesome food. And that's the whole aim of second nature. We want to be able to provide you with a lifestyle change rather than a diet that you'll do for a few months and that's it. Yep. So it's, it's great that you've picked up as well on you know, the differences. And I'd love to know the kind of key differences that you've noticed between diets that you've tried in the past and the Second Nature programme. I would say it's all about retraining the mind in a very gradual process. And there is no pushiness about the whole thing. You know, one of the things that really helped me was I plateaued at about the stage when you had the article about plateauing. And I mean, I, I don't think that's by fault. I think that's probably by design, the fact that a lot of people reach that stage when they've lost a bit. And it was very reassuring. Now, in the past, when I've been good and I've stayed the same for two or three weeks, that's when I would fail. But having read the scientific reasons behind it, it was like, okay, that's fine. That's normal. I'm not alone here. This is something that can happen while your body gets used to it. And fair enough, I pushed past that point where I would give up before and said, right, okay, they must know what they're talking about. We'll just see how it goes. And presto, I lost two pounds the following week and I hadn't done anything differently. So I think for anybody that's listening or watching, you know, that that's something to bear in mind because our bodies are all different and maybe in my case it just took time for it to get used to having lost I think I lost eight pound in a couple of weeks and it is slower now but I feel once and for all that this will stay off which for me is a, is a major major thing in my life and the other thing that's really helped me is that a lot of the diets do not ever mention alcohol hardly ever and the fact that the program and I don't like to call it a diet because I, I feel it's a way of life not a diet it, it says you know alcohol isn't banned there's no banned foods and I think that's the difference a lot of diets focus on the negative you know you can't do this you can't do that everything is within reason things so you, you you know from the word go what's expected in order to be able to lose weight do you think that having that knowledge has a different impact on your mindset going forward in your day-to-day -day life. One of the things that really helped me was the managing changes and normalising lapses. That really helped me. You know, the fact that you think about, well, why did this happen? And how did I feel about this? And what would I have liked to have done instead? Now, I've got a classic example. Last week when our son and um, daughter-in-law, they live on carbohydrates. It's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. And so I succumbed. And, you know, five pounds on later, I would have completely gone off beam before. But I actually stood on scales next day and thought, right, that's it. It's a lapse. Never mind. That's life. 
get on with it. And I was happy to get back on the programme and enjoy the foods that I have been enjoying because for me, it's about not feeling deprived. I can have what I like. I can have treats, but within moderation and still lose weight. I think that is an amazing mindset to have, to be able to, you know, go through something that maybe in the past could have affected us negatively and then to think, no, do you know what? It's okay. I can move on from this and carry on with my day. If we like to wrap things up now, with Second Nature in general, if you were to go back to week one and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? Gosh, that's a difficult question. Let the journey take as long as it takes. It's not about the outcome. It's about how you get to the outcome and all the little side roads that you go down along the way to meet the road that you're on. I love that. That was very inspirational and such a nice way to wrap up the interview. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add or anything that you know, maybe I've not asked or you know, anything that you would like to wrap up with the interview? Um, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's giving me food for, th food for thought, pardon the pun, every day. Uh, <laughs> we love a pun. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think, you know, I'm really enjoying it and I shall look forward to, you know, continuing doing my menu planning, reading the articles, knowing that the coaches are there if I need to talk to them or... Mm. Uh, you know the support's there so I, I think you've done a great job as a team and um, I think it's brilliant. Oh thank you so much thank you that's really really appreciated and it's been an absolute pleasure to hear your story today and yeah it's just it's so nice because as a coach especially I spend all day typing to our <laughs> members so to actually to be able to speak to someone and hear about the changes that the program's making it's just yeah it's it's incredible so thank you again for sharing your story with us thank you very much Gemma thank you I've enjoyed it